All right, welcome back to the Nice Fast Channel, guys. It's time for an overview, review, whatever you want to call it, of the newest, latest, greatest Jack Wolf knife. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started, guys. Uh, ben has done it again. Uh, this is another fantastic. This is obviously uh, the low drag Jack. Uh, this is the teardrop jack or bullet end, uh, you know, uh, pattern uh, that Ben has done. And there is Jack Wolf done by Sean Tiffany in his Miami uh, look there. Very cool. Awesome, awesome. Great artwork. It comes with, of course, all the good stuff. The cloth, uh, the Miami Nights sticker. I just love that. Uh, the pog that always has the same artwork on it. Come on, focus. And the low drag job. I mean, it's just, it's the complete package. And of course, like I've always said, uh, you get a slip uh, with every knife, a leather slip. And these are so nice. Uh, I like it because it covers the whole knife. But that's just me. Um, so let's get started with this one. Uh, really impressed. I've been carrying this. Now, you guys know, I decided not to do a full unboxing. I just did a short unboxing because I want to definitely, um, you know, give you guys my full thoughts uh, before these drop now, uh, these are dropping at dealers and the full list of dealers is on the Jack Wolf website. I'll have it listed a uh, link uh, in the description. Uh, but these are dropping at dealers on Friday, the 13th of January, 2023 at 2 p.m. Eastern time on all the dealers everywhere all over the place. Now, this is awesome. You do have uh, a bolster here with a flute, an end cap uh, with the flute, um, and then you have the covers. Uh, by the way, this is titanium. Uh, it's a titanium frame uh, integral, I guess, with the integral bro bolsters here. And you have the covers, of course, in this case are the fat, um, excuse me, the camo carbon. Um, and this is 80s camo carbon. There is also a uh, Miami camo carbon, and then there are two versions, we'll get to that in just a minute, of fat carbon and a black uh, micarta. So really, really cool. Now, uh, again, you have contoured uh, sides, if you would say, and contoured, uh, uh, wow, covers, my goodness. Everything is fitted so well. The fit and finish is amazing as usual. Um, I have not oiled this up yet because I wanted you guys to see what it looked like uh, straight out of the box, which is gorgeous. I love the fact that the camo carbon uh, just ends up with these lines of color. And I think that's what I like about it more than anything. It surprised me how much I like this uh, color, you know, this uh, scale with all the colors, but I do. Now, what appeals to me most about this particular one, this has... Uh, kind of a vibe of like an older, like, uh, you know, just past World War II uh, airplane or a belly tank on an airplane or even a, uh, you know, like a munition of some sort. Uh, or uh, Ben was saying last night, like a test round. Uh, just cool. And it's got kind of a bullet look to it here, as you can see, which is where that bullet in jack. Now, the, the, um, Wow, I just drew a blank. The uh, teardrop jack has been around for a while. Very cool. Tony Bowes kind of was the one that kind of made it a little more famous in recent memory, uh, but it has been around for a while. You got this cool swedging on the top of the blade, and of course, uh, Ben always takes his own uh, direction on these blades, and so what you've got here is this fat spear point blade. So what you end up with is this nice... Uh, design on both ends that gives it this symmetrical uh, look and it, it really does feel like an old plane uh, has that really cool vibe to it you do have of course swedging up here and you have your nail nick um, and you have this uh, belt satin finish done here on s90 v steel so a little change from what ben has been doing all the knives so far that have been done by Jack Wolf have been M390, made in China, by the way. Uh, manufacturer is not known. Um, 
but you ended up with S90V this time, which is a great little change up. I love S90V. It takes a great edge, holds a great edge. Um, and this one is a cutter. It is super thin uh, because of the hollow grind. Uh, let's see. I'm still getting used to the autofocus feature on this new camera, guys. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Uh, but you can see the hollow grind. It is very thin, very, very uh, deep hollow grind. Um, you do have, of course, uh, S90V written right here, and you have Jack Wolf right there. Uh, really cool. Now, um, the walk and talk on this one is around a six to a six and a half for me, uh, which is great. I mean, listen to the sounds of this. Very, very nicely done. Um, <coughs> I think it's still it's in that range that is fantastic anywhere between six and say seven and a half. I love that. Um, and this is maybe six, six and a half somewhere in there uh, for me. I do like that he added this um, chamfer back here to keep from this being a hot spot. It is not in my hand. As a matter of fact, uh, this thing is great on the ergodynamic er. Oh wow, ergos. Wow, I can't even say. Uh, so really nice, nice fills my hand because now you've got this swell back here into the palm. You've got a swell on the handle, uh, material with the, with the contouring and it just feels great. Nice place to lay your, uh, thumb back here. Again, it is not a locking knife. It is a slip joint, uh, but not a problem. Now, uh, let me see if I can get some cardboard here. Hold on. I'm going to cut a piece off camera so I can, whoops. So I can apparently make a mess. There we go. All right. So we're going to cut a little bit because uh, I have discovered uh, that this knife uh, is a cutter. I mean, it. this is thicker cardboard. I've been using some cardboard lately that is very thick. And you can see I'm angling on, a, on purpose here. Uh, let me not angle then. Uh, but you can see... When I, when I do an angle, there you go. You can see a nice clean cut. It is not pulling or grabbing uh, at all. It is doing a fantastic job uh, cutting that material uh, just really thin and slicey. And now I have a mess everywhere like I always do. You guys, do you guys get tired of that? I don't know. It's okay. I like to cut a little bit. I have cut quite a bit with it. Uh, I cut some paper with it. Uh, I cut open a package. I can't remember what that was upstairs in the kitchen yesterday with it. I haven't had it that long, but I've done a little bit of basic uh, EDC uh, cutting. Now, the finish on that blade is just beautiful. Let's do, let's clear some stuff off here and do a few comparisons uh, just because I love comparisons. I think they're helpful. And then we will talk about specs in just a moment. So uh, comparison number one is going to be crazy because you got the Ontario Rat 1, which is going to be way bigger. You have the Ontario Rat 2, uh, which is still just slightly larger in the blade and the handle, uh, but pretty close. There's your shot there. All right, let's uh, do some Jack Wolf. Well, let's do, first let's do um, the QSP Hedgehog. Uh, there you go. You got the Hedgehog is a similar uh, size there. And then because I love spear points, we're going to give you the K9 Jack uh, from Jack Wolf Knives as a comparison there. Trying to close these as I get them off so I don't accidentally cut myself. Uh, here is the recent Venom Jack, the last knife uh, that was done there. Um, another uh, kind of, whoops, here it is. Another spear point here. Uh, just to give you kind of an idea. Matter of fact, we'll do a Spears Point sandwich here in just a moment. There is uh, the Venom Jack. I mean, excuse me, the Vampire Jack. And back to the uh, Canine Jack again. So there are three different shape Spear Point blades that I think are all very fantastic. Now, this one's got uh, the, the Timascus Camo Carbon. This one's got the 80s camo carbon, and this one's got twill carbon fiber. Uh, all three just gorgeous, gorgeous knives. Ben, 
Uh, ben did send this to me. Uh, I have I have not said that yet, so thanks, Ben, for sending it. Uh, bear that in mind. But again, uh, guys, I'm always going to give you an honest review whether somebody sends it to me or not because that's what I do. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's exactly what's happening here. So this is a fantastic knife. I'm going to put it up on the stand, and I'm going to read you uh, some specs. Man, I have made a mess, which is a fun part of the review process here at the Nice Fast channel. So let's go. Uh, so the low drag jack is going to be in these uh, carbon fiber versions is going to be $299.99. So there is a fat carbon jungle wear, which is the green and yellow. There is the camo carbon 80s. There is the dark matter fat carbon yellow, and there is the camo carbon Miami, which is pink and blue. Um, all four of those options are $299.99, so right at $300, but they are gorgeous and fantastic. And then the last one is the black canvas micarta for $274.99. Now, I will have a link to this in, uh, in the uh, description, and I will also... Uh, definitely have a link to the dealers, and there are some new dealers. Now, don't forget, guys, uh, Blue Creek Knives will have these this month, uh, and so will White Mountain, and so will Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and all the regulars, but I just wanted to point out, Blue Creek Knives is now a uh, Jack Wolf dealer, and you can use my uh, link down in the description. Now, they will not be, you can't use my code, there's no 10% off, but if you use my link, it will help the channel, which is just basically www.bluecreekknives slash knivesfast. So if you want to use that, it helps the channel if you're going to buy one. Um, so the close length of this knife is 3.8 inches. Uh, the blade length is 2.8 inches. The cutting edge is 2.6. The blade stock is thin already at 0.12 or 3 millimeters and then comes down. Uh, ben was saying he got, I think, uh, uh, shoot, I don't remember what he said, but very thin. Uh, and my uh, my calipers are terrible. So 2.3 ounces, and again, it's made in China, and the beautiful artwork is all by Sean Tiffany. So very happy with this one. Again, uh, just feels fantastic in the hand, and I just love the motif of this one that the teardrop uh, gives it with, uh, you know, that very kind of sleek aerodynamic Look, that's really what you have here. It's just got this beautiful, sleek, aerodynamic look, and I love it. So, guys, let me know what you think. Is this one you're looking at picking up? Are you interested in it? I know I went a little long here because I did a lot of comparisons and talk a lot, as usual. But uh, please give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comments. If you're not subscribed, please check out the channel. Stick around and subscribe. And guys, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you and for Ben for sending this guy along. And thanks for watching the Knives Fast channel.